Okay, so we're on the uh, electronic fuel injection installation. Um, I've dropped my exhaust pipe out uh, to start putting the hole in for the O2 sensor. Hold on a second. Here it is. It just kind of, it, it clamps on. Anyway, I gotta put a three quarter inch in here. I'm gonna put new exhaust with a new muffler on it and not those glass packs, but I don't have the money for it at the moment. So I'm gonna put this in and then when they put my new, insta uh, my new exhaust on, they'll just have to put this back in place. So it's got this particular drawing here for this thing to go in there like that. <clears throat> this is brand new, it just looks like that. They wanted a little bit of an angle so that water don't collect in here and get on the O2 sensor. That's what helps feed the <clears throat> computer with the, your lean versus ridge. Anyway, so if it's perfect, I'll put the clamp on now. All right, so here's, here's a tip for you. I know that's got a little bit of a, a bend in it right there, but there's plenty of seal around this side. I got this piece put on here, like you saw, but then these weren't big enough. I mean, they weren't small enough. They wouldn't cramp down far enough. And once you get the nut on and try to pull it off, um, there you go. It breaks off. It goes on about that far and it will not back off. Broke the whole thing. Okay, after a little ingenuity, I saved these, a little bit of washer stacking. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm fine. I do believe I've got a decent seal right here. It's good and tight. Um, O2 sensor goes in well. But remember, this is purely temporary. I'm going to put new exhaust on this truck from the headers all the way out back but I just need something temporarily so that this O2 sensor will work and, and hook up our um, EFI, um, you know, self-tuning uh, capabilities. So temporary, but there. Y'all don't freak out. Plug that off. Just got it zip tied to the master cylinder up out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. And that'll be there when I get my buddy Brad to help me install all right now i'm going to put this stuff together uh let me see you should over here all this is online if you get this of course the comic book will come with it 20 micron filter fuel pump 10 micron filter so they've got them all lined up this one these here are going to be real close together i it just i don't guess it really matters but i'm going to put them all together um in sequence, not gonna spread out a real, real long way. Here's my fuel pump, here's the 10 micron filter, here's the 20 micron filter. I've also got this fuel hose from uh, AutoZone, about 20 or so foot of it. Uh, this kit comes with some, but you need it for the, the uh, bleed back from the EFI back into your, uh, back into the tank. That's the first piece that I put on. So I went ahead and bought this because I've got the other, I'm using it on the other side. All right, fuel direction, you see the arrow? See the arrow? See the arrow. All right, now I have some clamps that go on this. Go around the fuel pump. So there we go. turn line is actually on the back side of the spring over here. I'm going to feed it up inside the frame rail here so I can get it up into the 
engine bay. I don't want it all twisted. A little bit of a twist, but came off the roll a little crooked. Not crooked, but twisted, okay? Now we're up, here's my torsion bar, or whatever you call it. Uh, go up this way to the engine bay, but anyhow, I pulled it all the way down. I'm strapping it on. I may come back with some better, better strap than these zip ties, obviously. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> long afternoon, but I got the return line run up here. This is the part, this is the one that takes any overfeed from the uh, throttle body when it's installed. It takes it back to the, uh, back to the tank. I had a ton of brake line and stuff in the rear. Uh, and the old fuel line, that, or the current fuel line that I'm using is in the back back there. I'll show you. So brake lines and fuel line and uh, rear end breather hose. and all. So I didn't have a good place to put the fuel pump. So I put it over here on the other side. I don't guess there's any reason why you can't do that. So the fuel line now is run. Both filters are on, lines on there. So I think that's really all I, all I needed to do to get it ready for, for him. Now he's gonna have the throttle body, the, bra uh, the, the base obviously. We're gonna put this kick down bracket um, for the, uh, cable, excuse me, for the transmission, and then of course the wiring, and all the other wiring, and the touch screen. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get video of him putting all that on. Uh, I'm sorry, but all right, I'm ready because I just don't. I don't know how to do all that wiring. I don't mind telling you. Okay, so I've got a new fuel system. Oh, I do. I do need to hook the um, the fuel to the tank. I don't have that because I'm still running this for the moment. I also um, got oh, yeah, got dirty. I also painted the doors in my shop, and now I need to do my. Uh, I need to do my floor I'll get my floor done all good wherever it is yeah I'm gonna paint it like a real light colored tan or something and then put some clear on it or clean it up but yeah shops looking pretty good too